and a good Tuesday evening. Well, afternoon, it's late afternoon, not quite evening yet. Let's don't jump ahead of ourselves. Welcome to Lake and Bronx Sports YouTube. We're out at Lauks Park here in Lake and for the home opener for the Bronx 2024 baseball season. The Bronx hosting the Southwestern Heights Mustangs this afternoon in this High Plains League doubleheader. Typical day in western Kansas. What well, temperature's not bad, but a 30 mile an hour north wind will make uh, outfield and pop-ups on the infield. It will make it very challenging here this afternoon. Bronx with their first games of the season, Southwestern Heights, they come into this contest 0-4. Starting pitcher for the Bronx, senior Bodie McCormick. First pitch, swung and fouled back, and it's strike one the count to the leadoff hitter, Julius Trejo. Trejo batting 667 on the season, has eight hits, driven in one, scored two runs. And the count is one ball, one strike. I will apologize for our scoreboard. It is not working right now. That pitch fouled straight back, and the count one ball, two strikes to the leadoff hitter for the Mustangs. I'm going to try a couple things here. Maybe I can get it to work and uh, pitch outside Trejo taking count two and two everything was working until we got ready to go on the air the scoreboard froze up breaking pitch way outside Gabe Cox the catcher able to glove it and the count is full to the leadoff hitter Julius Trejo like I said, the first action for the Bronx this year. And a high fly ball, and that's over the left fielder's head and will roll to the warning track. Trejo around first on his way to second, and he's not letting up. He's on his way to third, and they're going to hold him up with a leadoff triple. That'll bring up Cade Thomas, the starting pitcher here in game one for the Mustangs. Takes on the outside corner for strike one. We're working on the scoreboard. We will get it fixed here. Breaking pitch in the dirt blocked by the catcher, Gabe Cox. Going around the infield, Adric Gomez Escabel at third base, Drew Patterson at short, Angel DeVia at second, and Jaden Johnson at first base. And a pitch taken on the outside corner. And the count one ball, two strikes. We'll look at the outfield here in just a minute. Bodie Wines, here's the one, two. Outside and the count even two balls, two strikes. Blair Jones in the out in the left field. Drew, excuse me, Grant Mendenhall in center, and Eli Bemis in right field. Gabe Cox doing the catching. Bodie with the breaking pitch, a slow roller off the mound. Bodie now has the runner in a pickle and throws it away. And the run scores. Run will score on the air. And Thomas safe at first on the fielder's choice. Next, two. And that'll bring up Parker Leak, the first baseman. Leak batting 182 on this season, has two hits in 11 at bats, has a double, has scored a run, yet to drive in a run. K. Thomas, the runner at first base, nobody out. We're just underway, top of the first. Bodie from the stretch, looks in for the sign, now steps off, throws to first, Thomas back easily. Bodie McCormick making the start in this season opener for the Bronx. He was 1-4 a year ago with a 7.29 ERA. His first pitch fouled off the left field side out of play, and it's strike one.
Southwestern Heights leading it early, one to nothing. The 0 1 pitch swung on and missed. And the count 0 and 2 to Parker Leak, the Mustang first baseman. Jaime Garcia on deck. Pitch a little bit high, 1 and 2 the count. Kate Thomas, the runner at first. Not a huge lead there. Johnson holding him, holding him at the bag. Bodie's 1-2 pitch. Line shot into right field will fall for a hit. Bemis bobbles out in right. Leak never hesitated rounding first. He'll get a double on the play as Cade Thomas goes to third. And that brings up the third baseman, Jaime Garcia. Pitch from Bachman. Excuse me, McCormick. <laughs> a little high. <laughs> I was looking and I saw Bachman on my score sheet over here <laughs> from last year's stats. <laughs> McCormick's pitch outside, 0 and 2, uh, 2 and 0 the count. Yeah, I was, I've, I've, got, I've got stats from last year and I got these from this year. And it's like I was looking down and I saw Bodie's name right there and it was Bachman instead of McCormick. So sorry about that. Pitch outside, 3-0. and And I had to apologize because his mom's sitting right next to me, so I have to behave. <laughs> Cormick looks in, 3-0 pitch. Strike called on the outside corner. Bodie looks in, here's the 3-1. High pop-up, fouled back. The wind will push it back into play. Cox can't come up with it. Balls for a strike and the count full. Three balls, two strikes. Jason Bandman in the on-deck circle for the Mustangs. Kate Thomas, the runner at third. Parker Leak after a double is at second base. Like I said, we are I'm keeping my fingers crossed on our scoreboard and uh, trying to get it to work. And that pitch taken for ball four. And that'll load him up for the catcher, Jason Banman. Up next, number nine, Banman. Banman, 286 hitter on the season, has two hits in seven at bats. Yet to drive in a run, but has a RBI opportunity here with this at bat. Here's the wind in the first pitch on the outside edge for strike one. I pop up. Drew Patterson over towards second. Gloves it for out number one. Runners will stay put. And that'll bring up Jackson Stanfield. Up next is number 10, Cox. Excuse me, it brings up Aaron Cox, the batter. Second baseman. Cox on the season looking for his first hit. And a smash to third, bobbled. And they will have nowhere to go on the play as a run scores. Tough backhand stab for Adric over at the hot corner. Next up for the Mustangs, number 15, Stanfield. Jackson Stanfield at the plate. Base is still loaded. One out and two runs across for the Mustangs. We're in the top of the first. Bodie McCormick with the wind and the ground ball towards second. Over to the short. Stop covering for one 
And that's all they'll get as a run scores. Cox out 4-6 for four, out number two. Stanfield at first on the fielder's choice. Runners at the corners now with two outs for Manny Mendoza. Mendoza bats from the right side. Pitch low for ball one. Throw to first. Runner sliding in safely. Good lead at first. Here's the 1-0. Off the catcher's glove as the runner goes to second. That'll go as a passed ball on the catcher. Allowing the runner to advance. Now runners at second and third. And it's 2-0 count. Oh, or was that a strike? Okay. Pitch is high. And now 2-1. and one. Wyatt Friesen in the on-deck circle. If Manny Mendoza keeps the inning alive for two hits, they strand two base runners. And there were two Bronc errors. After one half inning of play, it's Southwestern Heights 3. The Bronx coming up. We'll be back right after this. You're watching Bronx Baseball. Rural communities are known for their unequaled support of their hometown sports teams. KCB Bank can help you take it to the next level. We now offer hometown school pride debit cards, and these cards feature your hometown team mascot so you can show your pride each time you buy something. The best part? They're made right here on site, so there's no waiting for one to come in the mail. Get in touch with us right now and let us help you show your hometown pride. KCB Bank, with three locations, Garden City, Lakin, and on the web under your favorite search engine, member FDIC. Flashback to the days of Bebop and Bobby Socks at Flashback's Diner, Highway 50, Lakin. Fantastic burgers, Cody and Chicago hot dogs, Philly steak, BLT, and chicken sandwiches, along with ice cream treats like the traditional banana split, sundaes, shakes, malts, and cones. Dine in or carry out. Flashback to the days of Bebop and Bobby Socks at the one and only Fantastic Flashback's Diner, Highway 50, Lakin. We go to the bottom of the first inning. Bronx trailing the Mustangs 3 to nothing in the game one of this doubleheader. Starting pitcher for the Mustangs is Cade Thomas. And here's the lineup he will face. Leading off and at shortstop, Drew Patterson. Gabe Cox will catch and bat second. Adric Gomez Escobel batting third at third base. Bodie McCormick pitching and batting in the cleanoff spot. Batting fifth in right field, Eli Bemis. Batting sixth in center, Grant Mendenhall. Batting seventh at first base, Jaden Johnson. Angel DeVia at second base. He will bat eighth. And batting ninth in left field, Blair Jones. Drew Patterson leads it off for the Bronx here in the bottom of the first. Patterson, a 349 hitter a year ago. And he'll reach on an error by the shortstop to lead off the bottom of the first floor of the Bronx. That'll bring up the catcher, Gabe Cox. Cox batted 435 a year ago. Patterson with seven stolen bases last year. At first base, nobody out. Good lead at first. Cox takes the first pitch for a strike. Flinched. But the ball was in there for a strike. 0 and 1. Cade Thomas 0 and 1 on the season. Throw to first. Patterson back in time.
Thomas on the hill has nine strikeouts, two walks. He's allowed 10 earned runs. Here's the 0-1. Patterson moving on the play. Curveball. And the throw to second, not in time. Count is one ball, one strike. As Patterson now in scoring position. Cox with 15 RBIs last year, batting from the right-hand side. One-one breaking pitch in the dirt, and Patterson goes to third on the wild pitch. And the count goes two and one. Foul pitch back, uh, fouled back. It's two and two. Adric on deck for the Bronx. Drew Patterson, the runner at first base. Nobody out. We're in the home half of the first. There's the 2 2 pitch. Breaking pitch fouled up the third base side. Count remains two balls, two strikes. And the 2-2 is low and the count full. Three balls, two strikes. Check of the runner. Payoff pitch. Swung on and missed. Cox down on strikes for one away. That'll bring up Adrian Gomez Escobel. Next up, number 20, Adrian Gomez. Adrian, a 345 hitter a year ago. Had 20 hits in 58 at bats, drove in 12. Three doubles, two triples. Bats from the right hand side, runner at third, one out here in the home half of the first. First pitch, breaking pitch in the dirt. Gloved nicely by the catcher, Jason Banman. Want to know the count? Long on and missed. Count even one ball, one strike. Trying something different with the scoreboard here. Maybe I can get it to work. It'll either be that or I'll screw everything up. We're going to try. Pitch outside. Two and one. So far, I don't see that it's helping, so I'll keep trying. Three and one to count. High fly ball into right center field. Big gap out there, and nobody will get to it. It's against the fence. Drew strolls into home. He will score. Adric on his way to third with a stand-up RBI triple. I think, did, did they throw it a second? I'm not even sure, but <laughs> I, I, I think she threw the ball, but I'll get there today, they didn't have it. 
And I can't check my replay, but I think they appealed to base. I think they made an appeal, but, well, no harm, no foul. Adric's still at third base. Pitch low and in the dirt. Runner stays at third. Check of the runner, the 1-0 pitch, and a ground ball towards short. Bobbled, but to throw across in time for the out. Bodie out 6-3 on the play, but we'll get credit for an RBI as Adric scores on the play. Next up for the Bronx, number 11, Eli Bemis. That's two away now in the inning. Eli Bemis coming to the plate. Nobody on two outs. Eli, a 3-33 hitter a year ago. Back to Bodie McCormick. He batted 667 last year, but only had three at bats at coming in his final game of the year last year. He was two for three in one game. Eli taking it to knees for strike one. High fly ball to center. Center fielder battling to win and falls down, can't handle it. To the fence it goes. Eli at second base rounding and on his way to third. And he'll have a stand-up two-out triple. Next up, number zero, Grant Mendenhall. Brings up Grant Mendenhall, the center fielder. Mendenhall, a 200 hitter a year ago. Had three RBIs on the season. Has a chance here with two outs in the third. An RBI here could tie it up. Throw to first. Eli diving back in safely. Pitch in the dirt gets away from the catcher. Eli stays at third. Mendenhall bats from the right side. Breaking pitch way outside, 2 0 the count. See, quite a breaking pitch when you're throwing into this heart of a wind. Wind out of the north, about 30 miles an hour. Ball fisted at the plate. Count is two balls, one strike. Thomas looks in, here's the 2-1. Swung on and missed, and a count even, two balls, two strikes. Eli Bemis at third, two outs in the bottom of the first. Here's the 2-2 pitch. And a swing and a miss, Mendenhall down on strikes, and that's three away for the Bronx, but they do come up with two runs. On two hits, they strand a base runner, and there was one Mustang error. At the end of the first inning. After one complete, the score, Southwestern Heights three, the Bronx two. We'll take a break. We're back after this. You're watching Bronx Baseball. 
Kearney County, a wonderful life opportunity, offers a wide range of opportunities to residents and visitors. Hunting, fishing, camping, golfing, and bowling provide recreation, plus the Lake and Rec Commission provides youth and adult programs in Lake and Deerfield. Explore the rich history of the county by visiting the Kearney County Historical Museum or the historic sites throughout the county. Take advantage of what Kearney County has to offer. Contact Ralph Goodnight, Kearney County Economic Development, or on the web at www.kearneycountykansas.com. Some commercials make it really tempting to buy cheap insurance. That's great if price is the only thing that's important to you. The agency believes cost is important, but protection is what you're really paying for. Rely on the agency to build the policy that protects your property at a price you can afford. Call the agency today at 620-355-6789. We go to the top of the second inning. Mustangs leading the Bronx 3-2 to two in the season opener for the Bronx. Leading off for the Mustangs will be the center fielder, Wyatt Friesen. He'll be followed by Julius Trejo and Cade Thomas. And for those of you just joining us, the scoreboard at the bottom of our screen is not operational right now, but it is three to two. We're in the top of the second. First pitch is outside to Friesen for ball one. Pitch is inside for ball two. Two and oh the count to the leadoff hitter, Wyatt Friesen, here in the top of the second. Fouled at the plate. Four strike one. Mustangs come into today's action 0 and 4 on the season. Bronx, this is their first action of the year. That pitch taken on the outside corner for strike two. Count even. Two balls, two strikes. High chopper up the line and will stay foul. Count remains two balls, two strikes. Friesen back to the box. Left-handed hitter waiting. Here's the 2-2 pitch once again. Foul straight back. Count remains two and two. Check swing foul. Staying alive, two balls, two strikes. Friesen would like to have that pitch back. He's check swung at ball three. Bodie from the windup. Line shot right at the second baseman for one away. Brings up Julius Trejo, the shortstop. Led off the game with a triple and scored the game's first run. We have one out in the top of the second inning. Starts him off with a breaking pitch on the outside corner for strike one. Breaking pitch, roller to second, bobble, and he outran it. That'll go as an error on the second baseman. And that'll bring up the pitcher, Cade Thomas. Thomas reached on a fielder's choice. His first time up in the first inning. The Mustangs sent eight batters to the plate in that first inning. Trejo, a big lead at first. 
throw over. And threw it past the first baseman, Trey Hill up and on his way to second base. Hesitates and now will retreat back to second. So another error for the Bronx. That's their fourth of the game on that throw pass first, allowing the runner to advance. So Trejo now in scoring position, one out. We're on the top of the second inning. And like I said, we will we'll work on the And a called strike on the outside corner. That looked a little wide. But the, the umpire living in that spot right now. 0-2 the count. Bodie checks the runner at second. Breaking pitch low and in the dirt. Well, the umpire said one and one. Okay. And a strike at the knees. Now the count's one ball, two strikes. Breaking pitch. Got it up in the wind. And the ball now loose on the infield. As Thomas goes to second. Now runners at second and third for Parker Leak, the first baseman. Leak with a double his first time up. And that one back to the screen. Trejo started down the line, but retreated. One ball count to the Mustang first baseman. Leak batting from the left side. Short porch in right field with a left-handed hitter. But Leak sprays it up the left field side. It will fall for a hit. The runners waited. And Leak wasting no time. He went straight to second base with his second double of the game and got an RBI there as Trejo scores. Thomas goes to third on the play. First pitch called a strike. Jaime Garcia at the plate, 0 and 1 to count. Swung on and missed, and he's down in the count, 0 and 2. O2 pitch, breaking ball, good idea, just a little bit low. Count one ball, two strikes. Breaking pitch outside. <laughs> Count even two balls, two strikes. High fly ball into right center. Eli over in the gap. It's over his head and to the fence. Thomas will score. Leak will score. And it's a two-run double for Jaime Garcia. At 
And the Mustangs now leading it six to nothing for Jason Bandman. One out in the inning. Jaime Garcia, the runner at second base. That's the fourth extra base hit for the Mustangs in this game. Angel played the tough hop, barehanded it, and threw to first in time. 4-3 on the put out, and that's two away in the inning for Aaron Cox, the second baseman. Garcia stayed put at second base. Two outs now. First pitch from McCormick is in there for a strike at the knees. Jackson Stanfield on deck. If Cox can keep the inning alive. High pop up. And will fall for a foul ball, fall for a strike two. I know the initial reaction is to always head to the fence on a ball like that, but the way the wind is blowing that ball back in play, you really need to find it. Infielders need to help him out a little bit. Does any pop-up straight back, it better be launched because it's going to swing and a miss, ball to the screen, throw to first, and got him. Nice concentration by Jaden Johnson there to catch that ball as it crossed behind the runner. So that'll go as a strikeout, 2-3 on the put out for out number three. Second strikeout of the game for Bodie McCormick. Mustangs come up with three runs on three hits. See, they strand a base runner. And there were three errors for the Bronx in that inning. So after one and a half, Mustangs leading the Bronx, six to two. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back right after this. At Lake & Drug, their mission is simple. They strive to provide professional pharmacy services with hometown hospitality. Lake & Drug's experienced staff leads with compassion and utilizes modern technology to fit all of your individual needs. Whether it's prescription medications or over-the-counter products, Lake & Drug has the answer to all of your questions. Lake & Drug at 610 O'Loughlin Street in Lakin is a proud supporter of the community of Lakin and Lakin Schools. We go to the bottom of the second inning. Bronx trailing the Mustangs 6-2. to two. Up first for the Bronx, number 40, Jaden Johnson. Jaden Johnson will lead it off for the Bronx here in the bottom of the second. Foul tipped for a strike one. And that one taken at the knees for a strike two. I apologize, our scoreboard in the lower left hand corner is not working. Here's the 0 2 pitch to Johnson. Swung on and missed, down on three straight for one away. Johnson with no official at bats about a year ago, so that was his first official at bat as a Bronc. That brings up the second baseman, Angel DeVia.
Thomas looks in for the sign from Banman. Here's the pitch. Just a little high, ball one. One-zero pitch. Called strike. Count evens one ball, one strike. Swing and a miss. And to be down in the count, one ball, two strikes. Got him looking, got him with the breaking ball, and that's two outs in the inning. Brings up the left fielder, Blair Jones. Up next for the Bronx, number six, Blair Jones. Jones bats from the right side. Nobody on, two out in the bottom of the second. A lot of events going on around Lake and High School today. And I'm sure weather not cooperating with any one of them. Golf is at Buffalo Dunes. Not a good course to play in this wind. Softball is at Southwestern Heights. Swung on and missed. Count even. One ball, one strike to Jones. Bronc track is at Stanton County. And, of course, baseball right here at Laux Park. Pitches inside, four ball two, two and one. Temperature near 60 at first pitch today. Wind's not letting it feel anywhere close to that. Here's the two one and a strike on the outside corner. Count evens, two balls, two strikes. Drew Patterson on deck. If Jones can keep the inning alive for the Bronx as they trail at six to two here in the second. Two two pitch. Breaking pitch, swung on and missed. Well, it was bobbled, but they will tag him for the out. Cade Thomas strikes out the side in the bottom of the second inning. The Bronx, no runs, no hits, no errors, nobody left. And after two complete, the score, Southwestern Heights six, the Bronx two. We're back after this. Matthew Medill, CPA, Main Street, Lakin, is a proud supporter of Lakin High School Sports and Lakin USD 215. Matthew has owned his accounting firm since November 2014 and completes tax returns for farm-related activities that include farmers and ranchers, personal tax returns, grow yards, and crop dusters. Matthew is a certified public accountant in charge of raising funds to create an endowment fund for USD 215. Matthew Medill, CPA, Main Street, Lakin. They said this place was too isolated to call home. They said it was too remote to build a community. And then one day, a farmer strung a copper wire from one fence post to another and changed everything. We didn't build the communities of Southwest Kansas. No, we just brought them together. Jackson Stanfield leads off the third inning with a high pop-up fielded by Angel DeVia for out number one. Up next, number 16, Mendoza. That'll bring up Manny Mendoza. Mendoza, a strikeout victim, his first time up. Stands in there, count 1-0. Oh. 
High pop-up. Drifting to the outfield. Patterson back. Can't make the catch. And that'll go as a bloop single for Mendoza as it lands in between three bronc fielders. Up next, number three, Friesen. Brings up the center fielder, Wyatt Friesen. Friesen lined out to the second baseman his first time up. As a runner at first, one out. As he steps into the left-handed handed box. Throw to first. Runner slides back in safely. Mendoza, a good lead at first. Pitch is high for ball one. Julius Trejo on deck. Once again, if you're just joining us, apologize for the scoreboard in the bottom of the screen. It's not correct. It is six to two. We're in the top of the third. Check swing strike by Friesen. Count even, one ball, one strike. Tried to check, couldn't hold it. Bodie looks in, check of the runner, and here's the one, one. High right, for ball two. Line shot, Devia over in the hole, gloves it, throws to first in time for the out. Mendoza goes to second on the play. Two away in the inning for Julius Trejo. Trejo one for two, has reached safely twice and has scored twice. Let off the game with a triple, reached on an error in the second inning. Breaking pitch, gets away from the catcher, but Mendoza will retreat back to second. Count is 1-0. Mendoza, had he kept his secondary, he could have taken third, but he was retreating about the time the ball got to the catcher. And that's high for ball two. Ball three, skips away from Cox, and Mendoza on his way to third on the wild pitch. And the count three and oh. Cade Thomas on deck. We're in the top of the third inning, Mustangs on top six two. Now Bodie from the wind up, here's the three oh. And that's high and outside for ball four. That'll put runners at the corners. Two outs for Cade Thomas. Dimensions here at Lauk's Park, 353 down the left field line, 380 to straightaway center, and 300 down the right field line. Runner off on the pitch, gets away from the catcher, but he'll steal it easily without a throw. And count 1-0 and oh to Cade Thomas. Thomas won for two. Reached on a fielder's choice in the first. And singled in the second. Has scored twice. Has two runners in scoring position here. Low and inside for ball two. Strike called, count two balls and one strike. Parker Leak on deck if Cade Thomas can keep the inning alive for the Mustangs. Leak would like to have a chance. He's had two doubles in the contest so far. And strike on the outside corner. And count even two balls, two strikes.
High pop up. Patterson going out. Center fielder coming in, and it will fall for a hit. Bloop single for Thomas, and Parker Leak comes to the plate. Leak with two doubles, two runs scored, and an RBI. Runner at first, two outs. Fouls that one off the end of the bat for strike one. Score is 8-2 to two in favor of the Mustangs. We're in the top of the third. Thomas, a good lead at first. Throw over. Thomas back in safely. Bodie working from the stretch. There's the 0-1. Breaking ball inside. Count one ball, one strike. Mustangs with a lot of action in the inning, but just two runs to show for it. There's the 1-1, one, one, and that's high for ball two. Jaime Garcia on deck. And that's high for ball three. Blowing inside for ball four. That'll bring up Jaime Garcia, the third baseman. Up next, number 22, Garcia. Two on, two outs. Two runs across here in the top of the third. Mustangs looking to add to this 8-2 lead. Strike called. 0-1 oh to count. Jaime Garcia, one for one. He walked in the first. A two-run double in the second. Quick check of the runner at second. Here's the 0-1. Oh Inside, and the count even one and one. Jason Bandman on deck. High and outside, Cox able to grab it, keep it from going to the screen. Two one pitch popped up. Cox in foul ground. Adri giving a chase as well, and it falls for strike two. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. For twenty two at the plate. And he called strike three on the outside corner. Got him looking. That's three away in the inning. But the Mustangs come up with a couple more runs. Two runs on two hits. They strand two base runners. And there was one bronc error. Where was there? Nope. No errors in that inning. Thought I had one written. Nope. We go to the bottom of the third. Mustangs on top of the Bronx by the score of 8-2. to two. We're back right after this. 
A lot of action on the street today, huh, Willie? Yep. Oh, check out the German V8. Good car. Our feeder zane. Ooh, 64 Dream Car. At Shelter Insurance, we insure all your favorite rides. Oh, classic convertible. And have since 1946. Sweet pickup. Hiya, Muggsy. Yo. From Hot Wheels to hybrids, we've got you covered. Hey, mailman. Love those shoes. Hey, where you going? Shelter Insurance. We're your shield. We're your shelter. We go to the bottom of the third inning. Bronx trailing the Mustangs by the score of 8-2. to two. Brett Hendricks with you. Thanks for joining me this afternoon for Bronx baseball. Bronx go back to the top of the lineup here in the bottom of the third. Drew Patterson, the shortstop, will lead it off. Reached on an error and scored in the first inning. He'll be followed by Gabe Cox, Adric Gomez-Escabel, and Bodie McCormick if anybody gets on. Cade Thomas back to the hill. Strike on the outside corner for strike one. Here's the 0-1, and it hit him. Lead off hit by pitch as Patterson goes to first. That'll bring up Gabe Cox. Cox, a strikeout victim his first time up. Up next, number five, Gabe Cox. Patterson with a st stolen base in the first inning. Has a huge lead at first, and he's off on first pitch. Pitch called a strike, and it bounces into center field. He'll go to third and possibly score on this one. He's going to score easily. That goes a stolen base and a two-base error on the catcher. As Patterson scores. It's an 0-1 count to Gabe Cox. <laughs> Bronx still trail it, 8-3. Pitch to Gabe, high for ball one, 1-1 one to count. Paid to be aggressive that time for Coach Steve Davidson, sending the runner from second on the overthrow. A blooper in the infield, gloved by the third baseman, Jaime Garcia, for one away. The thing about it is, with that wind blowing in brisk from the north, a lot of runners can outrun that throw from the outfield, and Drew Patterson has good speed to score on that one easily. Adric Gomez-Escabel at the plate, nobody on one out. Adric with an RBI triple and a run scored his first time up. Bats with nobody on and one out. Bronx trail at 8-3. Thomas the wind. Adric fouled it at the plate. On one count. Thomas from the wind up, looking in for the sign from Bandman. Here's the 0-1 to Adric. Breaking pitch low and away. And a cow you won't involve one strike. Bodie McCormick on deck. Mm -hmm. 
missed just high for ball two. Two and one to count. And that one called a strike to even account two and two. Breaking ball low and away, and the count evens two ball. Excuse me, the count goes full. Three balls, two strikes. Looking at the pitching comparison, Bodie McCormick with 81 pitches thrown through three innings. Cade Thomas with just now 44 pitches thrown, make it 45 as Adric takes it for ball four. And Bodie comes to the plate. Number 33, Bodie McCormick. Bodie grounded out to the shortstop his first time up, but did get credit for an RBI. Bronx with one run across, runner at first with one out. Bodie bats from the right-hand side. Strike taken. 0-1 oh to count. Jason Bandman, the catcher for the Mustangs, one of the rare left-handed catchers that you will see. You see a few here and there. Don't see it very often. Adric moving on the pitch, a ground ball to short. Gloved by Trejo, over to first in time. Adric trying to go first to third, and they're going to say he slid in underneath. So Bodie out 6-3. We're out number two. Next up for the and Adric 11, going Adrian. first to third as he was moving on the pitch. Sadly, he doesn't even get credit for a stolen base there because Bodie put it into play. Brings up Eli Bemis. Bemis with a triple his first time up, was left stranded in the first. Adric to runner at third. Two outs here in the bottom of the third. High fly ball into right center field, and it will fall. Up against the screen, Adric scores easily. Eli not hesitating. No, and he will now. He will stop, and I'll tell you what, that would have been close. Good relay by the second baseman. It's a wise move by Eli to hold it up there with a double. The plate, number zero, Grant Mendenhall. RBI double for Eli Bemis, and that brings up Grant Mendenhall. Mendenhall struck out his first time up. Bronx have cut into the lead. Mustangs on top, 8-4. to four. We're in the home half of the third. Pop foul back and out of play, strike one. Once again, apologize for our score bug that's locked up. One one to count to Mendenhall, who bats from the right side. Swing and a miss, and it's 0-2. And, Huge gap in right center in that Mustang defense. The center fielder actually shaded over towards left. Breaking pitch outside for ball one. Check of the runner, here's the one, two. Breaking pitch once again low, and it's even two balls, two strikes. And a call third strike on the outside corner, and that'll do it for the Bronx in the third. Bronx with two runs on one hit. They strand a base runner. And there was one. At the end of the third. Mustang error. Southwestern Heights, eight, 
Lake in the forest. After three complete, Mustangs eight, Bronx four. Take a break. We'll be back right after this. Refinance your auto loan at Golden Plains Credit Union. You can lower your current auto loan rate by 2% with no payments for up to 90 days. Rates can be as low as 3.25% annual percentage rate. This offer applies to loans financed from another lender. Think of all the money you could be saving every month. This is a limited time offer, so stop by and ask about refinancing your auto loan today. Golden Plains Credit Union. Life with a touch of gold. Member NCUA. Some changes for the Bronx as we go to the top of the fourth. Mustangs leading it 8-4. to four. Eli Bemis, the new pitcher for the Bronx. Bodie McCormick will go to first. Isaac Haquez will go to right field, but he will take the batting position of Jaden Johnson. Leading it off for the Mustangs will be Jason Bandman and be followed by Aaron Cox and Jackson Stanfield. Up first for the Mustangs. Nine, Bemis, nine. two and one on the season a year ago. Had two starts. Bemis had 10 strikeouts, nine walks. Gave up 29 runs in 14 and a third inning. 22 of those earned. And he'll face Jason Bandman, the Mustang catcher, to lead off the top of the fourth. Pitch high and inside for ball one. We're in the top of the fourth inning. Mustangs lead it eight to four. Swung on, grounded into the hole, backhanded by Patterson. Throw across, not in time. Nice play by Drew Patterson, but just not in time. That'll go as an infield single for Jason Bandman. Up next, number 10. Nice range by Drew Patterson deep in the hole. Courtesy runner for the catcher. Courtesy runner. Memo Tellez. First pitch strike to Aaron Cox, 0-1. Ground ball foul up the third base side. And a count 0-2 to the second baseman, Aaron Cox. Cox 0-2, reached on an error in the First, struck out in the second to end the second. Swung on and missed at the breaking pitch from Bemis, and that's one away in the inning. Bodie McCormick, three innings pitched, allowed eight runs on seven hits. Had two strikeouts and one base on balls. Two bases on balls, excuse me. Well, let's see. Count them up. Three, actually.
2-0 oh, the count to Jackson Stanfield. Throw to first. Tellez diving back in safely. Team that hurt the Bronx through the first, at least first two innings. They, they committed five errors. Swung on and missed. Count two and one to Stanfield. Bemis checks the runner. Here's the 2 1. Low and outside, and count goes to 3 and 1. Ball low and in the dirt, and that's ball four. Courtesy runner Tellez will go to second. That'll bring up the left fielder, Manny Mendoza. Mustangs lead it eight to four. We're in the top of the fourth inning. First of two here at Lox Park. Foul tipped at the plate, strike one. I don't know if it's safe to say that the wind's dying down, but I at least don't hear it whistling through the windows. <laughs> we can only hope that the wind is going down for the players' sake. We have the luxury of sitting up here inside, but uh, I just didn't hear it whistling anymore. How dare I say that the wind ever goes down in Kansas, right? <laughs> Check with the runner. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Almost got him. I don't know how he got out of the way of that one, but he did. And it's 2-1. and one. Wyatt freezing on deck. Two on, one out. We're in the top of the fourth. Mustangs on top, eight to four. Line shot up the right field line, falls for a hit. Bronx get it back to the infield. And the courtesy runner, Tellez, probably getting a talking to by his coach at third base because that's one of those that he had been off the bag. He scores easily. That brings up Wyatt Friesen. Bases are loaded, one out. Strike called on the outside corner. 0-1 oh to count. Julius Trejo stands on deck. Bases loaded, one out. We're in the top of the fourth. Missed outside for ball one. Eli Bemis on in relief of starter Bodie McCormick. Fouled back, count even, two balls, two strikes. Swung on and missed, and freezing down on strikes for out number two. Second strike out of the inning for Eli Pimas. That brings up the Trejo. top of the lineup, the shortstop, Julius Trejo. Trejo officially one for two, but he's reached all three times at bat. And he flares that one off the end of the bat. Oh, Bodie almost came up with it, a dive in foul territory. And it falls for strike one.
High fly ball up the left field line. Falls for a hit. One run will score. Two runs score. As Trejo into second with the double. Two out, two run double for Julius Trejo. Tellez scores on the play. Jackson Stanfield scores. And Manny Mendoza at third for Cade Thomas. Thomas two for three. He's reached safely his three trips to the plate. Has two singles, reached on a fielder's choice. And that one called on the outside edge for strike one. I find it hard to call that on the outside edge because that's on the inside chalk of the left left-handed batter's box that one Cox couldn't pull that one in and the count even one ball one strike a little bit wide to the right-handed hitter one one fouled straight back count one ball two strikes Bemis checks the runners. One two pitch hit him. That brings up Parker Leak. Bases are loaded, two outs. Leak two for two. Two doubles, a walk, two runs scored, and an RBI. And a huge RBI opportunity here, batting from the left side with the bases loaded. Mustangs lead it 10 to 4. We're in the top of the fourth. And a roller foul. Strike one. We're in the top of the fourth inning. Two outs. Mustangs on top 10 to 4. Here's the 0 1. Missing inside, and to count one ball, one strike. Foul tipped into the glove for strike two, one ball, two strikes. Breaking pitch, low and inside per ball two. Count even, two balls, two strikes. Jaime Garcia on deck. Two-two pitch, fouled at the plate. Count remains two and two. Pitch way inside and it's full. Three balls, two strikes. And with two outs in inning, runners will be off on the pitch. And that's high for ball four. So bases loaded walk. And the inning is still alive for the Mustangs. Manny Mendoza scores. And an RBI for Parker Leak, his second RBI of the game. Leak with two doubles and two walks. Two runs scored and two RBIs. Brings up Jaime Garcia, the third baseman. Garcia one for two with a two-run double in the second inning. Struck out looking in the third and takes the first pitch at the belt for strike one. 11 to four, top of the fourth, Mustangs on top. Bemis on in relief of Bodie McCormick. And that pitch on the outside corner for strike two. 
Garcia, the ninth batter, to come to the plate for the Mustangs as they batted around here in the fourth. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Swung on and missed, and he strikes out to end the inning. But in the inning, the Mustangs come up with three runs on three hits. They strand three, and there were no Bronc errors in the inning. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Mustangs lead it 11 to 4. We're back right after this. The Lake and Recreation Commission has a full fitness room with five treadmills, tread climber, rolling machine, three elliptical fitness cross trainers, two stationary bikes, and strength training fitness equipment. You'll find just what you need for your own quality workout. The fitness room is open for the public's use free of charge during business hours. For use after business hours, Lake and Rec also has a keyless entry system available. The Lake and Rec Commission, always involved with the youth of Lake and 702 North Campbell, Lake and 355-7039. The benefits are endless. Refinance your auto loan at Golden Plains Credit Union. You can lower your current auto loan rate by 2% with no payments for up to 90 days. Rates can be as low as 3.25% annual percentage rate. This offer applies to loans financed from another lender. Think of all the money you could be saving every month. This is a limited time offer, so stop by and ask about refinancing your auto loan today. Golden Plains Credit Union. Life with a touch of gold. Member NCUA. We go to the bottom of the fourth inning. Bronx trailing the Mustangs by the score of 11 to 4. Cade Thomas back to the hill for the Mustangs here in inning number four. Thomas has allowed four runs on just three hits. Bronx have stranded two base runners. Isaac Haquez will lead it off for the Bronx here in the fourth. He'll be followed by Angel DeVia and Blair Jones. And if anybody gets on base, back to the top of the lineup for Drew Patterson. Isaac Haquez Garcia. Isaac, a year ago, batted 200. Had one hit in five at-bats. Here's the wind in the first pitch to him. Fouled straight back. 0-1 to count. Pop-up. Right at the first baseman. Backed up a step. And makes the play for one away. That'll bring up Angel DeVia. Number 16, Angel DeVia. Devia batting from the right side, struck out looking his first time up. We're in the bottom of the fourth inning, Bronx trailing 11 to four. Swing and a miss. And a count even, one ball, one strike to Angel. Blair Jones on deck. Mustangs have scored in every inning. They scored three in the first, three in the second, two in the third, and then added three more on the top of the fourth. Bronx with two each in the first and third. And a strike taken on the outside corner. One ball, two strikes to count to Angel. If you're just joining us, scoreboard is locked up. I will reset everything in between games. Breaking pitch found off the end of the bat. Angel staying alive to count one ball, two strikes. We're in the bottom of the fourth. And 
Here's the wind and the one, two, way outside. And a count, two balls, two strikes. Thomas looks in for the sign. Here's the wind and a two, two. Breaking pitch. And Angel squibs it up the first base side foul. Count still two and two. Two-two pitch, swung on and missed for out number two. That brings up Blair Jones. Up next, number six, Blair Jones. Seven strikeout on the game for Cade Thomas. Jones a strikeout victim his first time up. He's 0 for 1. Swung on and missed. Strike one to count. Thomas winds. Here's the 0-1. Swung on and missed. Jones down in the count 0-2. O2 pitch. Fouled straight back and out of play. Count remains 0 and 2. O2 pitch. Fouled off the glove of the catcher. Count remains 0 and 2. Breaking pitch and a line shot over the shortstop into left center field for a two-out hit. First hit of the year for Blair Jones. That brings up Drew Patterson. Up to the Bronx, number two, Drew Patterson. Patterson 0 for 1, reached on an error and scored in the first, was hit by a pitch and scored in the third. His run in the third, Drew scored on a, he was on first, scored with a stolen base and a two-base throwing error by the catcher. So on the play, Drew scoring from first on one pitch. Takes a pitch on the outside corner for strike one. Gabe Cox on deck. Thomas from the stretch, looks over at the runner. Jones with a good lead at first. And a ground ball toward second. Man bounced it over his head. Jones around second on his way to third. Let's see if they send him. They will. Here comes the throw. And not in time as Jones scores. Give Patterson the hit on the bad hop over the second baseman. Not a lot you can do there. Number five, Gabe Cox. Drew ends up at second base. Brings up Gabe Cox. Cox looking for his first hit. He's 0 for 2. Takes on the outside corner for strike one. Here's the 0-1. Swung on and missed, and Cox down in the count 0-2. Adric on deck. If Gabe can keep this. 
bottom of the fourth going for the Bronx. No two pitch, dropped sidearm and got him looking on the breaking pitch. And that'll do it for the Bronx in the fourth, but they do come up with a run on two hits. They strand a base runner and no Mustang errors. After four complete, the score, Mustangs 11, the Bronx 5. We're back right after this. You're watching Bronx Baseball. At the end of four, your score is Southwestern Heights 11, Lakin 5. Fred Ripsimo established the Lake and Dairy in 1997 and is now a leading producer of high quality milk for human consumption. The Lake and Dairy is proud to be a big part of the Kearney County economy and community. With fantastic, dedicated, and hardworking employees, the Lake and Dairy prospers in the heart of, as Fred calls it, the Midwest Feed Shed. Always supporting the Lake and High School students, the Lake and Dairy, a verified premium operation, is honored to call Kearney County home at lakeanddairy.com on the internet. Rural communities are known for their unequaled support of their hometown sports teams. KCB Bank can help you take it to the next level. We now offer hometown school pride debit cards, and these cards feature your hometown team mascot so you can show your pride each time you buy something. The best part? They're made right here on site, so there's no waiting for one to come in the mail. Get in touch with us right now and let us help you show your hometown pride. KCB Bank, with three locations, Garden City, Lakin, and on the web under your favorite search engine, member FDIC. We go to the fifth inning. The Mustangs on top of Lakin by the score of 11 to 5. Eli Beam is back to the hill for the Bronx. Jason Bandman will lead it off for the Mustangs. He'll be followed by Aaron Cox and Jackson Stanfield. Ground ball past Bemis to the second baseman. Devia in time to first base for one away. 4-3 on the put out. That brings up Aaron Cox. One pitch, one out here in the top of the fifth. Next up, number 10, Cox. Three and 0 the count to Aaron Cox. Cox 0 for 3, has struck out twice, reached on an error, takes that one at the knees for strike one. Three and one the count. And that's low in the dirt, four ball four. So one out walk for Cox brings up Jackson Stanfield, the right fielder. Stanfield 0 for 2, reached on a walk in the fourth and scored. Manny Mendoza on deck and a meeting on the mound. And Coach Davidson will make a pitching change. And right now, this is a change just to save Eli Bemis. Going to save some innings for save some pitches for him on Thursday as Scott City visits the Bronx on Thursday. 
Bodie McCormick with his pitch count. He is done for the week. But uh, with two double headers in a matter of three days, and with the way the pitch counts are set up in the state of Kansas, makes it awful hard. Sometimes to manage pitching. Angel DeVia will come in from second base and pitch. So DeVia will come on to pitch with one out here in the fifth inning. See, Eli, I believe, will go back to right field. And I believe they're bringing Isaac into second base, I believe. Yep. That'll bring up Jackson Stanfield. Angel DeVia on the relief of Eli Bemis. You took over for starter Bodie McCormick in the fourth. We're in the top of the fifth. One on, one out. Mustangs on top, 11 to 5. Once again, I do apologize for our score bug that's locked up in the lower part of our screen. Strike taken. And a stolen base by Cox. Danfield had squared the bunt, pulled the bat back, taking strike one. Pitch missing outside for ball one, one and one to count. Check of the runner, 1-1 one, one pitch and a high fly ball towards right field. Bemis in a couple steps, makes the play. McCormick the relay and not in time. Cox tagging and going to third. Stanfield out on the fly ball to right. That nope. brings up Manny Mendoza now with the runner at third, two outs. That play there wasn't as bad as it may have looked for the Bronx. Had the, had the exchanges been cleaner, they would have had a chance to get the runner tagging at second. But Bodie had a tough hop on the relay just off the edge of second base there, the edge of the grass. One another count to Manny Mendoza. Mendoza two for three, singles in his last two at-bats. And takes that one for ball two. Two oh. Pitch taken for strike one, two, two and one to count. And a ground ball toward short. Patterson with it over to first in time for the out. 6-4 on the put out, 4-3 away for the first time. Today, the Mustangs go scoreless. No runs, no hits. They strand a base runner. And no Bronc errors. We go to the bottom of the fifth inning. Bronx still trail it by the score of 11 to five. We're back after this. 
Kearney County, a wonderful life opportunity, offers a wide range of opportunities to residents and visitors. Hunting, fishing, camping, golfing, and bowling provide recreation, plus the Lake and Rec Commission provides youth and adult programs in Lake and Deerfield. Explore the rich history of the county by visiting the Kearney County Historical Museum or the historic sites throughout the county. Take advantage of what Kearney County has to offer. Contact Ralph Goodnight, Kearney County Economic Development, or on the web at www.kearneycountykansas.com. Fiber fast internet with zero lag to the most rural parts of Kansas with no contracts, gimmicks, or price gouging? Believe it, it does exist from Pioneer Communications. Unlike Bigfoot, aliens, or unicorns, this is the real deal. Say goodbye to slow connections and hello to streaming, gaming, and Bigfoot size downloads. Unlike these elusive creatures, fast internet from Pioneer Communications is real and ready to impress. Need to see it to believe it? Now through March 22nd, sign up and get your first two months free. Bronx trail it as we go to the bottom of the fifth by the score of 11 to 5. Adric will lead it off. He'll be followed by Bodie and then Eli. Adric one for one on the game. He's reached, he's reached safely twice. Drove in a run with a triple in the first inning. Walked and scored in the third. Cade Thomas back out for his fifth inning of work. Thomas, a good job with his pitch count, though. Just 72 pitches through four innings. Strike taken on the outside corner for strike one. Adric bats from the right side. The 0-1 misses outside in the count even one ball, one strike. Adric a year ago, a 345 hitter. Has a triple in this game one. Breaking pitch too low for ball two. Two and one. Here's the 3 1. Fouled at the plate. Count goes full. Three balls, two strikes. There's the wind. And grounded to third from his knees. Will not make the play, but a good effort. By the third baseman, Jaime Garcia. That goes an infield single for Adric. Brings up Bodie McCormick. McCormick looking for his first hit. Has grounded out twice to the shortstop. Adric at first, nobody out. Bottom of the fifth, throw to first. Adric back in standing. Want to know the count. High pop-up in foul ground. First baseman overran it and can't make the play. 
And the count one and one to Bodie. Sorry if it goes quiet here, but I am trying to fix our scoreboard. You know, during basketball, I don't have to deal with this. I have my tech support always sitting by my side. <laughs> and he's trying to he's trying to talk me through it on my phone. Bodie with the high fly ball to left field. The left fielder drifting over and able to make the play. And that's one away in the inning. Gonna bring up Eli Bemis. Bemis two for two on the game, a triple in the first, an RBI double in the That's second. Great. Number eleven, Eli Bemis. Runner off on the pitch, a strike taken. And Adric with the stolen base. And the count even, one ball, one strike to Eli Bemis. <clears throat> Strike taken on the outside corner, count is one ball, two strikes. And with fingers crossed, here we go. It works. Yay. Yay for me. Yay. Thanks for Jared. <laughs> so I will update this scoreboard. Our scoreboard now active. And we are now up to date. High fly ball over the center fielder's head and will roll to the fence. Adric around third. He will score easily. Bemis around second on his way to third and is in there for his second triple of the contest. That brings up Grant Mendenhall. And we are now up to date with our scoreboard. So uh, appreciate it as always. I've said it many, many times. If it wasn't for Jared, I'd have quit a year or two ago. because I do not have the expertise. First pitch to Mendenhall in at the knees for a strike. And it's over the head of the center fielder. Bemis will score. That's Blake LeBron, number 12, Isaac Tacos Garcia. Eli scores on the play. And that brings up Isaac. 
So Isaac takes a breaking pitch at the knees for strike one. Quick check of the runner. Here's the 0-1 pitch. And he flares it into right field for a hit. Mendenhall being waved around. And he'll score without a throw. RBI for Isaac here in the fifth. Bronx starting to make some noise here in the home half. Three runs across. Angel DeVia. Just one out in the inning. Bronx with three runs across. Angel DeVia at the plate. Takes low and outside for ball one. Ball rolled away from the catcher, but not far enough for the runner to advance. Thomas looks over. Here's the 1-0. Swung on and missed. Count evens one ball, one strike. One ball, one strike. Pitch is swung on and missed. And now DeVia down in the count one and two. Blair Jones on deck. And a call third strike on the outside corner. And for the third time today, Angel Villa down on strikes and now two away in the inning. Up next, number six, Blair Jones. Brings up Blair Jones. Jones singled and scored his last time up. He's one for two. Swung on and missed for strike one. Bronx with three runs in the inning have cut the lead in half. Popped back and out of play. In a count 0 and 2. Blair with the check swing. And the pitch taken for ball one, one and two the count. Blared off the end of the bat, fouled back. Count remains one and two. Cade Thomas now at 98 pitches. Entered the inning with just 71 pitches thrown through four innings. Had done a good job with his pitch count, but struggled here in the fifth. And this will most likely be his last inning work. Ooh, and that pitch taken outside for a strike three. But the Bronx do come up with three runs. Three runs on three hits. They strand a base runner. And one Southwestern Heights error. After five complete, Mustang still in front by the score of 11 to 8. We'll be back right after this. You're watching Bronx Baseball.
on Lake and Bronx Sports YouTube. At Lake and Drug, their mission is simple. They strive to provide professional pharmacy services with hometown hospitality. Lake and Drug's experienced staff leads with compassion and utilizes modern technology to fit all of your individual needs. Whether it's prescription medications or over-the-counter products, Lake and Drug has the answer to all of your questions. Lake and Drug at 610 O'Loughlin Street in Lakin is a proud supporter of the community of Lakin and Lakin Schools. We go to the top of the sixth inning. Leading it off for the Mustangs, Whoopi Wyatt Friesen will be followed by Julius Trejo and Cade Thomas. Bronx with three runs. In the bottom of the fifth, they trail it eight to, excuse me, 11 to eight. Ground ball towards first. Bodie up with it, steps on the bag for one away. Play going three unassisted. That'll bring up Trejo. Trejo, two for three. A triple, a walk, reached on an air, and a two-run double. Bats with nobody out. Excuse me, one out top of the sixth, and a high fly ball. On the infield, Drew Patterson gloves it for out number two. So two pitches, two outs for Angel DeVia here in the sixth. That'll bring up Cade Thomas. Thomas, two for three. Two singles. And has been hit by a pitch. Also reached on a fielder's choice. That's with nobody on two outs here in the top of the sixth. Angel DeVia with the pitch and a ground ball towards short. Patterson up with it. Throws across. Three pitches, three outs for Angel DeVia here in the sixth. Six three on the put out. Not only do the Mustangs go quickly in the six, but they go quietly as well. So no runs, no hits, nobody left, no errors. We go to the bottom of the sixth. Bronx back in it. And we're back after this. Some commercials make it really tempting to buy cheap insurance. That's great if price is the only thing that's important to you. The agency believes cost is important, but protection is what you're really paying for. Rely on the agency to build the policy that protects your property at a price you can afford. Call the agency today at 620-355-6789. Flash back to the days of Bebop and Bobby Socks at Flashbacks Diner, Highway 50, Lakin. Fantastic burgers, Cody and Chicago hot dogs, Philly steak, BLT, and chicken sandwiches, along with ice cream treats like the traditional banana split, sundaes, shakes, malts, and cones. Dine in or carry out. Flashback to the days of Bebop and Bobby Socks at the one and only Fantastic Flashbacks Diner, Highway 50, Lakin. Pitching change being made by the Mustangs as we get set to go to the bottom of the sixth inning. Julius Trejo will come in from shortstop. And Cade Thomas, the starter, he will go to shortstop. Cade Thomas, the pitcher the of record for Mustangs the Mustangs here. Drew Patterson. So 
So the worst he can do is actually end up the winner of this contest. It's up to Julius Trejo to save it here. Drew Patterson leads it off for the Bronx in the bottom of the sixth to be followed by Gabe Cox and Adrian Gomez Escobar. First pitch is outside for ball one. And takes that one high as duck, Drew ducks out of the way of it. 2-0 oh the count. Now the bad thing about the scoreboard working, now I've got to go to work. I've got to keep track of balls and strikes. I forgot to do that earlier. <laughs> Pitch taken low for ball three. And Drew has scored twice, driven in a run with an RBI single in the fourth. And here's the 3-0 pitch from Julius Trejo. And that pitch got away from him and back to the screen. And the leadoff walk for Drew Patterson brings up Gabe Cox. Adric on deck. He'll be followed by Bodie. Cox looking for his first hit. He's 0 for 3. That struck out twice. Patterson, the runner at first, the big lead, has two stolen bases here in game one. Cox with a liner into right field. It'll fall for a hit and bounced over the right fielder. Patterson around second on his way to third. He's going to be waved around. Cox around second. He's going to third. Right fielder had it played, but the ball took a hop right over his head. So credit Cox with the triple. Number 20. And an RBI as Patterson scores from first on the play. And just like that, the Bronx now trailing by just two. That'll bring up Adric Gomez Escabel. Adric two for two with a walk. Trejo from the wind. Pitch is high for ball one. We're at 6 o'clock. And if you're just joining us, game number two was scheduled for 6 o'clock. So uh, we're going to be a little bit late on that start time. And that pitch taken inside for ball two. 2-0 two the count to Adric. Bounce who bats with a runner at third. Nobody out. Bronx with one run across. Still a huge hole over in right center field. <clears throat> Adric pops that one back and out of play. Two and one to count. Two one pitch. Oh, called strike at the knees. I thought it was a little low. And it's uh, two and two. There's the wind in the two two pitch. And takes that one high for ball three. And the count is full. Three balls, two strikes. Bodie McCormick waits in the on deck circle. Payoff pitch off the heel of the catcher. Patterson up the line. Will, excuse me, that was Cox up the line. He will score easily. So a base on balls and a run scored on the wild pitch. And it'll bring up Bodie McCormick. Up next for the Bronx, number 33, Bodie McCormick. Bronx trailing now by just one after trailing 11 to five going into the fifth inning. Adric, a good lead at first. Bodie takes low for ball one. Bodie squaring the bunt. 
looking to move the runner. Now pulls back, will take the pitch. High fly ball into center field. The center fielder running in. I think he lost it in the sun, and it'll fall for a hit. Adric rounding second, and they will hold him there. Bodie with the, with the double. And that'll bring up Eli Bemis. Eli's had a big game, three for three on the day, two triples and a double, an RBI and a run scored, uh, actually two RBIs and a run scored, and a huge RBI opportunity here. And with a base hit, could give the Bronx their first lead of the afternoon. Here's the wind and the pitch. Lone inside gets past the catcher. Adric up the line, scores easily. Count one ball, no strikes. Eli moves up to third on the wild pitch. And that's outside. Four ball two, and the Bronx have tied it at 11. Two old pitch. And it's two and one to Eli Bemis. I said Eli at third. That is Bodie McCormick, the runner at third. Low and inside. And a count three and one. Grant Mendenhall on deck. Three one pitch, taken at the knees, four strike two, and the count is full to Eli Bemis. And that's high and outside for ball four. That'll put runners at the corners for Grant Mendenhall. Breaking pitch low for ball one. Runners at the corners, nobody out in the bottom of the sixth. Here's the pitch. Eli on his way to second will take it without a throw. And count two balls, no strikes. Pitch inside. And the count now, 3-0. and oh. 3-0 pitch. Taken at the belt for strike one. And that pitch taken for strike two. There's the full count pitch. Breaking pitch outside. And the bases are now loaded. For Isaac Jaquez. Isaac Jaquez Garcia. And a timeout on the field. Bronx with bases loaded, nobody out. And three runs across in the inning. And looks like a pitching change will be made.
Cade Thomas will go to center. And we'll try to catch all of the changes here. You have a pinch of a good, good eraser on it. Can I borrow it? So Kate Thomas will go to center. The new pitcher is Jackson Stanfield. He'll come in from right to pitch. And I would imagine Trejo will go back to short. And we'll see who goes to right field. And that may now that may be where Cade Thomas is going. Yeah, Thomas is, will go to right. <coughs> you can Thank you. And then center fielder will remain. That will be Friesen. We're in the bottom of the sixth inning. Bronx have scored three runs to tie it up, and they have the bases loaded with nobody out. Jackson Stanfield on to pitch for the Mustangs. Bases loaded, nobody out. And Isaac takes high for ball one. And if you're just tuning in and uh, looking for game number two, we're running just a little bit behind schedule here. Here's the 1-0. Taken for a strike, and the count even, one ball, one strike. Angel DeVia on deck. High and inside. Two and one to count as Isaac ducks out of the way. Bases loaded, nobody out. Mustangs with the infield on the grass. Looking for a play at the plate. On a ball put into play. There's the 2 1 pitch. Low and outside for ball three. No room on the bag. Stanfield needs to make a pitch here. Here's the 3 1. And Isaac taking all the way. Count full, three balls, two strikes. And that's high and tight for ball four. So an RBI walk for Isaac as the Bronx now take their first lead of the afternoon. Up next for the Bronx, number six, Angel DeVia. That'll bring up Angel DeVia. Angel DeVia. Base is still loaded and still nobody out.
Outside for ball one. And a line shot into left field. It'll fall for a hit. Eli scores. Mendenhall being waved around. They will cut it off as Grant scores as well. Devia with a two-run single. Next up, number six, Blair Jones. And the Bronx now lead it 14 to 11 as Blair Jones comes to the plate. Bronx have batted around in the inning. Still nobody out. Runners at first and second. And that pitch is outside for ball one. Snap throw to second. Runner back in safely. Count one ball, one strike. Stanfield checks the runner. And a looper into shallow right field will fall for a hit and gets past the right fielder and will roll to the fence. Isaac around third, he will score. And they'll hold Angel at third base. Blair Jones was right on the tail of Angel if he would have kept going, but they had to hold him up there. At the plate for the Bronx, number two, Drew Patterson. And that'll bring Drew Patterson to the plate first for the second time in the inning. He let it, let it off with a walk. Still nobody out. That one fouled straight back and out of play. Bronx with seven runs across. Still nobody out in the inning and two in scoring position. Via out trying to score on the pass ball. 2-1 on the play. And out number one. Pitch was behind Drew, so the count one ball, one strike. Jones moves up to third on the play. And Patterson slaps it in the hole at short. Trejo up with it, and not in time. Patterson with his speed, that's an infield single. And an RBI as Jones scores. Up next for the Bronx, number five, Dave Cox. Throw to first. Batterson back in standing. Gabe Cox to the plate. Gabe with the RBI triple and a run scored earlier in the inning. His second plate appearance of this sixth inning. And Patterson with the stolen base. Count is one ball, no strikes to the Bronx catcher. 
Cox one for four. And the ground ball towards short. Trejo with the backhand. Throw across in time. And Patterson going to third on the throw. Nice play by the Mustang shortstop, Julius Trejo, to get Gabe Cox. 6-3 on the putout. That's out number two. And that'll bring up Adric. Up next, number 20, Adric Gomez-Escobar. Now with two outs in the inning. Adric with an RBI opportunity here. Adric walked earlier in the inning. Takes that one outside for ball one. And takes that one high for ball two. And that one high and tight for ball three. Stanfield checks the runner. Here's the 3-0 pitch, and it's outside for ball four. So four-pitch walk sends Adric to, the, to first, and that'll bring up Bodie McCormick. Bodie with his second plate appearance of the inning. Had a double and scored earlier in the inning. Bats with two on, two out. And Adric was off on the pitch. Now he's in a pickle. Patterson will score on the play. Adric just keeping the play alive long enough. And he will be tagged out. The run does score on the play. Adric caught stealing. That'll go one, four, gosh, I can't even go back and figure that out. One, four, three, six, I think three. Uh, you know what? We're going to go with it. But a good inning for the Bronx. They come up with eight, nine runs. On five hits. And let's see, I don't think there were any errors in the inning either. And let's see. I think I got it. <laughs> I think, I don't know. One thing I do know, we go to the top of the seventh inning and the Bronx are on top, 17 to 11. Want to, want to take the time to thank all the great sponsors that uh, are on board with us here on Lake and Bronx Sports YouTube. And as we say it so many times, in, when you visit their business or you talk with those folks, uh, please thank them for what they do, that you're able to watch these games on the World Wide Web. Of course, we want you to come out and support the kids, but there's times that we know you can't. And we're happy to be able to grant you this opportunity. We go to the top of the seventh. The first time today, the Southwestern Heights does not come to the plate with a lead. 
And Parker Leak will lead it off. He was at the plate. Excuse me, no, that was that was another inning. Never mind. Leak will lead it off. It'll be followed by Jaime Garcia and Jason Banman. Angel Devia on in relief. Ground ball to second. Isaac over to first in time. That's four pitches, four outs so far going back to the last inning for Angel Devia. That is amazing. Play going 4-3 for out number one. I guess that's one good way to preserve your pitches to pitch later in the week. <laughs> Brings up Jaime Garcia. Garcia won for three with a walk. Had a two-run double in the second inning. Whoa. Man, that looked good. Where was that one? Ball one. <laughs> I was ready for him to ring that one up as a strike. You ruined our stretch of... Uh, Pitches and outs. High fly ball into left field. Blair Jones coming in. Drew Patterson going out and makes the catch. And that'll bring up Jason Banman. Up next, number nine, Banman. Banman one for four. Singled in the fourth. Angel DeVia on the hill looks to be the winning pitcher and gets a swinging strike there. Did not look good for the Bronx through four innings. They trailed 11 to 5. But they have scored 12 unanswered runs. That pitch outside for ball one. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Ground ball towards third. Adric plays it on the hop. Strong throw across, and the Bronx are going to win it. 5-3 on the put out. And nice work in relief by Angel DeVia. As he'll pick up the win. No runs, no hits, nobody left. And no Bronx errors. As the Bronx win it, 17 to 11. Bronx, 17 runs, 13 hits. They strand four, commit five errors. And fortunately for the Bronx, they cleaned up the defense. Those five errors came in the first three innings, and they cleaned it up after that and were able to go on to the win for the Mustangs. 11 runs on 10 hits. They stranded nine base runners and committed three errors. The winning pitcher will be Angel DeVia. The losing pitcher for Southwestern Heights will be Julius Trejo. As the Bronx win their first game of the year, the Mustangs fall to 0-5 on the season with that loss. Well, that's going to do it for game one. We're going to be back on the air oh, in about 15 minutes with game number two. But uh, I will sign off of this contest, and then we will sign back in for game number two on our YouTube stream. And we want to thank everybody for joining us here. Uh, we're going to take a break, and we'll be back 